And so Sonia has issued a statement in response to allegations that her son physically abused his girlfriend saying, I woke up this morning to a different world, a world I thought I had long buried from the age of 17, 26, I was with a man who was very abusive physically, psychologically and emotionally. I'm mentioning this so that you understand that as a woman who have suffered all kinds of abuse, I do not stand for, support or condone such a stance. These are struggles I've spoken about extensively in my early career to encourage other women in similar situations. I not only welcomed his girlfriend into my home, but I treated her as a daughter and worked with her in support of her career in the entertainment industry. And right now, I would like to reassure her that she still has my love and full support. As a mother, I wish she had come to me to inform me on what was going on. Finding out on social media broke my heart. I've always been there. I've always been supportive. I now realize I should have taken preventive measures much earlier, such as counseling and or child therapy. But sometimes the mistake we tend to make as African single mothers is to assume and hope that things will work out for the best. Meanwhile, certain past behaviors can affect generations to come. With that said, Donnell will face his demons and take accountability for his actions and let the law take its course. I refuse to raise a man like his father. Rehab, therapy and internal healing will prevail. Thank you South Africa. And this has left a lot of people unsure. Some of the people defended it saying that this issue had very little to do with her. Whereas other people did say that it was a child after all. And at this point, the guy himself has sort of deleted his own Instagram. But you guys comment down below, tell us what you think. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up.